Young Scott recently had the amazing opportunity to chat to Sir Trevor Phillips, the head of the Equality and Human Rights Commission. Having enjoyed a varied career in media and politics, Sir Trevor is a well-known and high-profile personality within the United Kingdom. It's his role to promote equality across the full range of discrimination areas, including age, belief, ethnicity, sexual orientation and disability. In this, the first of our two video podcasts, he shares his views on race, gender and age discrimination, even presenting his own support for the nation's young people. I would say people in their early 30s and below, in their heads, live in a completely different world to people of my age. I think that people who read Young Scott think of, for example, the idea that you would assume stuff about somebody because of their race, they are baffled by it. In the world that I grew up in, the first and most important thing about me is the colour that I am. I don't think that is true for my daughters who are young Scott age. I just don't think... That doesn't mean that race doesn't matter. I just think that you guys live in a world where it's not defining. I think the attitudes are completely different. And the reason I say that I think that if we are going to make a change in the society, it's actually going to be led by young people. I think, unusually, um, if I can put it this way, young people are the smart ones, they're the wise ones. And this is not just about you know, me flattering young people and saying you're all goody goodies, because you aren't. Um, I know that. It is because in the real world that we live in today, we're an ageing society, we will not have enough workers to fill the jobs that need to be done if we're going to regain prosperity. This is particularly true in Scotland, which could dip below the five million mark, where we know that the workforce is ageing, you know, the, the numbers over 60 are increasing and so on. In order to deal with that, we've just got to get rid of some of the prejudices, because if you don't want to employ a woman, or you don't want to employ somebody from an ethnic minority, there isn't a man, there isn't a white person going to be there waiting to take the job. All that's going to happen is you're going to have one person less that, to be able to do the job. So I think somebody's going to have to knock some sense into our society. And my guess is that the real leaders in it, knocking sense into society are going to be people under 35. What young people can do is demonstrate by their actions, by their example, and by their voices that you know, prejudice in society isn't just a bad thing morally, it's actually going to kill us as a society. I would suggest that every public office holder who is relatively senior, let's put a salary on it, 65,000, 64,000 pounds, must have a young person as their shadow and as their conscience. And they have to allow that person to see what they do at work and they have to give them an hour a week in which they say nothing and the young person tells them what they think. I think it would change um, all our thinking pretty dramatically. In fact, now I've invented this law, I might actually do it, in, <laughs> I might, I might actually do it myself. Thanks to Trevor Phillips and the Equality and Human Rights Commission for giving Young Scott this great opportunity. If you would like to find out more about your rights and the EHRC, visit youngscott.org or equalityhumanrights.com.